Are you one of 350 million individuals suffering from FAD, also known as Facebook Addiction Disorder? Do you often find yourself inevitably distracted by social media while studying for your quantum mechanics midterm? Are you falling asleep uncontrollably and periodically throughout the day? In lectures? During office hours? Or while eating lunch? Is Adderall a bit too potent for you? Is that pill you bought from your dormant freshman year making you too jittery? Anxious? Giving you heart palpitations? Or maybe you're suffering from a serious cocaine addiction. Can't lay off the white powder? The nose candy? The blow? If any of the above apply to you, we have the solution. The drug you need is modafinil. Can't study? Yeah. Here, take this. Wow. Uh, uh. I feel so focused and exuberant. Modafinil became FDA approved to treat narcolepsy and obstructive sleep disorder, but has been highly sold off-label as a smart drug. What is a smart drug? It's a drug that enhances cognition. Like cocaine and Adderall, modafinil targets the central nervous system, but without causing the addictive and harmful side effects. Also, Whereas cocaine and Adderall only target online cognition, like problem solving, modafinil additionally targets offline cognition, like storing memories. But in order for modafinil to work, it has to enter the brain. Its hydrophobic phenyl groups, along with its polar sulfoxide and amide groups, makes it neither too hydrophobic nor too polar, enabling it to sneak past the BBB. Well, the mechanism of modafinil is not fully understood, but it is known to affect many neurotransmitters through an indirect, unknown route. Yet one known route is how it affects DAT, also known as the dopamine transporter. But before we get into this, it's important to understand what dopamine is and how it functions. These are the ends of two neurons. One is sending a message and the other is receiving that message. Dopamine is synthesized in the sending neuron and stored in synaptic vesicles. Vesicles migrate from the sending neuron to the presynaptic membrane to release dopamine into the synaptic cleft. Once there, dopamine interacts with receptors in the receiving neuron and activates it, creating a chain reaction. Dopamine then returns to its sending neuron through the dopamine transporter, DAT, where it is taken back up into the neuron to be reused. Modafinil binds to the dopamine transporter, DAT, and therefore inhibits dopamine from being taken back up into the cell. Because of this, dopamine levels will increase in the synaptic cleft, and dopamine will continue to hit the receiving neuron's receptors, therefore increasing dopaminergic signaling. This increase of dopamine improves memory, cognition, and attention. Like other types of transporters, DAT is able to change its conformation from an inward conformation to an occluded conformation and to an outward conformation. Cocaine-like compounds prefer an outward-facing conformation of the DAT. Whereas benztropines, another class of dopamine transport inhibitors, prefer a more occluded conformation. Mendathinol was found to prefer a more occluded conformation of the DAT. This may be in part because modafinil chemically resembles the structure of benztropines more than cocaine due to its two phenyl groups. Contrastingly, one distinctive structural feature of modafinil compared to either cocaine or benztropines is that it lacks a charge per middle nitrogen. This lack of ionic bonding may give reason to why modafinil has a lower binding affinity to the DAT than cocaine or benztropines. This lowered binding affinity then may play a role in why modafinil is less addictive and does not exhibit side effects like abnormally high blood pressure or heart rate. Uniquely, modafinil sulfoxide group exhibits chirality due to its lone pairs. Due to this chirality, modafinil is composed of two enantiomers, the S enantiomer and the R enantiomer. Interestingly enough, the enantiomers of modafinil are both active, but the R enantiomer lasts three times longer because its cyphoxide group is positioned toward a tyrosine 156 residue on the dopamine transporter. If you are someone with narcolepsy, modafinil has proven to induce wakefulness. Ever since I've taken modafinil, I've stopped sleeping on my sandwiches. I found it interesting as well, in terms of problem solving, this kind of immense focus let me really think, get inside my own head and mull over a problem. 
Side effects include headache, nausea, black tar, stools, void vision, vision changes, chest pain, chills, fever, clumsiness, unsteadiness, confusion, dizziness, fainting, increased thirst and urination, nausea, depression, problems with memory, rapidly changing mood, shortened express, sore throat, trembling, shaking, trouble, and urinating, unfold movements in the face, mouth, and tongue, unusual bleeding, bruising, usually tightness, and weakness. Ask your doctor if modafinil is right for you.